Alrighty, hello guys! Welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Flyout yet again. And today, what we're going to be doing is building some sort of World War II German jet. Now, I don't know what I'm going to base this on just yet, but essentially what I want to do is have a cockpit that is essentially glass. That is essentially the only thing that I really want from this. So let's go ahead and do it. If you guys are wondering what this plane is in the background, this is my uh, my British Firefly that I added a jet to and made Japanese for some reason. So that's what this is. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay then, let's go ahead and get building with this thing. So we're going to start with the fuselage. Um, I was umming and ahhing about whether or not to make this a... Like a, a one person seating in the front or a two. Now I decided to go with a one because I felt like that made I I felt like that made the most sense. Uh, but now that I'm thinking about it, I think a two seater would have been a little bit better, or maybe just a little bit nicer. I'm not sure. Anyway, I've went with this sort of bomb shape right here. I'm not entirely sure if this is a good idea or a bad idea. But now we're going to go through and add a bunch of glass. This is essentially my main point of this build. I just wanted a glass cockpit and that is what we ended up building. So here we are adding a bunch of the glass to it and honestly this made the build really really quickly and um, honestly I think it looks really cool already. Um, I was um, trying to think about what the back end of this should actually look like as well. Whether I should do it with two struts to hold the, um, to hold the horizontal stabilizers or anything like that. But uh, I went with a conventional plane, to be honest. Anyway, here we are, uh, actually going ahead and adding a bunch of glass to this thing. I felt like that made sense. Um, and it seemed like it wasn't squidged enough. So I had to squidge it in a little bit uh, in order for this to actually work. I then wanted to add this back in, uh, which is like a metal piece around the outside. And then I thought about it and I was like, I don't know whether I want that. So I actually changed it all back to glass. Which, you know, I guess it's a bit of a waste of time, but that's fine. Anyway, I decided to paint it green. I'm not sure why, um, because there's actually a lot of painting in this video, um, and not a lot of it actually stays. In fact, I've cut a bunch of it where I painted it a lot. Um, I'm not very good at painting in this game just yet, so that's a thing. That color that I've got on there right now, though, I actually really like, and I sort of went back to in the end. Anyway, let's go ahead and build the rear of this. Um, it's looking pretty good, but I do think it needs to be squidged a little bit, which I might go back through and do, I'm not sure. Um, but honestly, that, as a fuselage and a cockpit, just looks sick. <laughs> I think it looks really good, um, and it is exactly what I wanted. Anyway, I added this little thing on the bottom right here. I don't know why I added this thing on the bottom right here. It doesn't make any sense. I don't need it. Um, and I can't really do much with it, so I don't know why it's there. Uh, so I do end up getting rid of that very soon. Anyway, we're moving on, and this is where I squidge the uh, squidge the fuselage just a little bit towards the back to make it a little bit nicer. Honestly, um, it was a little bit ugly to begin with, so that's why I've done this. There you go. Bam. Nice. Okay, moving on, we are going to add some wings. These wings are going to be located on the top of the fuselage, uh, and then obviously go out sideways. Right there, I actually found out that you could twist the wings. That's kind of cool. Um, not something that I'm going to be using today, but... Um, it's kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, anyway, I have a few like little issues with adding wings in this game. Uh, it feels like I can't actually customize them in terms of like clicking on them once I put them on the plane. Not sure what that is. I'm assuming it's a bug, but I don't know. Um, but honestly, in the end, this looks sick. It looks cool. So I'm just trying to figure out where... Oh, actually, you can see right there. I'm trying to cut the wing to extend it, and I couldn't actually do it until the end, which then I, I was able to do it. So I don't know, there was a little bit of an issue there, but we did end up sorting it out. Anyway, let's go and extend the wings out a little bit. Um, I am actually counting how um, big the wings should be. And I believe it was seven blocks, seven or eight uh, squares on the bottom, um, which isn't something that I've actually done with any of the other planes, but I did want to make sure this was um, kind of cool. So there you go, bam. Okay, what am I doing here? Am I trying to paint the wings? I think that's what I'm doing right now. Trying to paint these wings um, in the same color as everything else. Unfortunately, there's no like paint dropper tool, which would be really cool, but um, never mind. Anyway, let's go ahead and curve these wings out a little bit on the ends. There we go. Squidge them down so they're not as tall. And honestly, they look pretty good. We're now moving on to the horizontal stabilizers at the rear, because again, uh, I just think it's a good idea to do so. Bam, there we go. 
Now, honestly, with the way that I've actually built this, it would make sense to add a vertical stabilizer in the center, which is what I originally thought I was going to do. But then, I went back to my Simple Planes days, and I was like, you know what? I actually really like them being on the end of the horizontal stabilizers. So that is pretty much exactly what I did. Um, yeah, the vertical stabilizer is on the bottom of the horizontal stabilizer, and it looks really cool. It looks so good. I, I love it when planes have these. Um, so yeah, it looks a little bit too modern though, maybe, but honestly, I, I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. And they were a little bit too big to begin with, but then I sorted it out, so that's good. Bam! Nice! Okay, what are we moving on to now? I think this is engine time. So instead of just adding the engine first, I actually decided to build the pods first, and then whack an engine inside there. I don't know whether I would do it that way again, but I think it was, um, I think it was the right choice what I did now. Uh, to be totally honest with you guys. Because then at least you get it to fit with the plane. But if you don't get a jet engine that is able to actually lift your plane. All of this is for nothing. To be honest. Um, but yeah. Anyway. I added a flat bit to the top. I then added this little bit of a weird shape. And I flattened off the bottom of the wing. Uh, the engines. Um, and if you guys don't know what kind of design this is sort of based off. In terms of the engines at least. Uh, it's uh, um, the Arado 234. Also, I'm really struggling to do voiceovers, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Anyway, I wasn't sure what kind of exhaust we'd have on the back of this engine. Um, and I was really sort of stressing out about how I wanted it to work. And I just couldn't do it. And I'm not sure why. Um, but I just really didn't know what I wanted the back end to look like. Now, I accidentally clicked apply, which um, reset everything that I just did, I think. Um, and there you go. That is what I ended up with, which honestly doesn't look terrible. And I, I actually kind of like it, to be honest. I've said honestly and to be honest a lot, um, but honestly, I've just said it again. Um, it's, it's a struggle to do voiceovers, at least for me anyway. Right, so this point right here, we're going and adding a bit of thickness to the jet engines at the front, just so that it looks a lot nicer, and then we can shove the engine actually in there. I believe I make the engine a little bit bigger as well, and I also give it an afterburner as well, because we kind of need it. Anyway, here we are adding the landing gear. This is the point where I think I get rid of that hemisphere, because it is pointless. Uh, and I actually make the front landing gear very chunky. I was going to go with this like single landing gear feature, um, but then looking at it, it is just a little bit too tall. So I do go back to that, and I change it in the future. Um, because, yeah, it was a little bit too tall for our aircraft. Um, but here we are, adding these into the engine theme of bobbies. Here you go, look, that's me changing it, and then I change these wheels as well. But honestly, um, I feel like the landing gear going into the engine the way that it did isn't the best. That's me just testing it out, seeing if it works, and honestly, it does. This bit right here, I think is actually kind of cool. Um, it's like a... I don't even know what these are. I, I feel like it could be to do with the radar, but it's also maybe to do with just the support. Um, I'm all, almost entirely sure it's just support on this. Um, but essentially, I added some supports in there from the main fuselage in the center out to the top of the vertical stabilizers to make it look cool. That is the only reason. It doesn't add any strength whatsoever, but I think it looks cool. So there you go. All right. Bam. Nice. All right, moving on. What else do we actually have here? I think I made the engine bigger. And I had the afterburners, and that is essentially all I wanted to do. We're going to go ahead and paint this a little bit more afterwards, so don't worry about that too much. Um, and this is me putting all the control surfaces in, so that they actually work. Um, which, I did put them all in wrong, or a lot of them in wrong, but that doesn't matter. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take off here, just as a quick test. Oh, apparently we're not. Um, the control surfaces were wrong. I think I do go back in and actually take off, though. I'm almost certain. Here we go, so let's go ahead and see if we can take off. It's quite quick. We didn't really do that many modifications to the engines, to be honest. Um, and also, our landing gear didn't retract at that time. Also, it did actually turn as well, which was weird. All of the landing gear turned? That was a bad idea. Um, but there we go. I think we've done a pretty good job with this. I think it looks pretty good. Um, and actually, it flies really nicely as well. So, um, let's go ahead and test this out together. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it. Alright, so this is actually what we ended up coming up with, which is honestly better than expected. This has worked out really, really well. 
so let's go ahead and get ourselves into the sky, see what kind of uh, flying it does, and go from there. Uh, I don't know whether I actually added flaps to this. Oh, I did. There they are right there. And they fold down right next to the engine, which is pretty cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and lift up the landing gear, and off we go. Let's then go ahead and lower down our flaps, because we don't need those anymore. And we are flying. Now, the livery I've given this, of course, is just sort of tan color. Um, which doesn't really work too well in the desert, because you can't see it. I guess that's what the camouflage is for, though, so I guess that makes sense. Um, the only thing that I would say about this is that I haven't given it a blue undertone uh, on the underside, which is something that I think we should definitely do. So I might have to go back and do that in a second. But, I've given it some windows, uh, I've given it some big old windows on the front. Um, the landing gear is inside the aircraft right there. I would like to box that off, honestly, so I might do that as well. Um, and obviously we can see the wings in there as well, but I don't know, it's fine. It is fine for right now. Um, I love the tail fin on this. I think the vertical stabilizers being on the side of the horizontal ones I actually make it look really really cool um, And the engines being where they are this thing is actually extremely stable. So yeah, very very cool Anyway, let's jump back into the paint thing and see if we can actually do a nice paint line around the bottom of the aircraft All right, so I've saved it currently as it is which is fine Let's go ahead and try and figure out a blue color that we actually want here uh, and we can go for that on the bottom. Now, I've been told to lower this all the way down to like zero, which uh, I guess is fine. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and go with something like this. Here we go. Because uh, I've been told square ones are actually pretty good. Um, and now we need to figure out what kind of blue we actually want. Because, um, yeah, that's a thing. Because, yeah, that's a thing. Alright, not that blue, obviously. Um, oh, I don't know how we're going to do this. Saturation needs to go all the way down. And I think we go with this. But honestly, this isn't it. This isn't good enough. Uh, but we'll try. So I'm going to go ahead and try and just do it across the... Oh, that bit's already wrong. I guess I could paint it back on with the other thing afterwards. So let's just go ahead and do this as much as we can around the outside. Try and keep it as level as, as possible. And then we can go from there. So these guys are going to go around the bottom like so. It's not actually looking too bad, which is good, I suppose. This bit, however, does actually angle it, which is really annoying. So we're going to have to, like, angle with it. Um, if possible, but I don't know how that's going to work. There's there's a lot of work to go on here, isn't there? There's a crazy amount of work to go on here. Okay, um, don't know how I'm going to do that bit, honestly. No idea. Okay, there we go. So I've, I've done it, like, enough, I think. Uh, it is blue underneath these wings. It is blue underneath here. Uh, we actually do need to add the blue underneath this bit as well, but it is a little bit tricky. Uh, but we will go ahead and do this like so, and hopefully that is A-OK. -okay. We then need to go back into a bunch of these and try and paint these pieces, uh, which might be a little bit tricky, but we can go ahead and just make this a little bit smaller, and we can just paint that in. There we go. So, you might also notice that a bunch of this is actually made of, like, different colored paints. Because uh, I haven't quite got it right everywhere, but I've tried. You know, I have tried my best. So, that's going to go in there. It's a little bit wonky, a little bit off, but at the same time, I think that'll be fine. The sides look pretty good. Everywhere else actually looks pretty good. The engines themselves, being the way they are, actually doesn't look too bad either. Um, so, actually, I am very happy with it. Um, with that being said, I do want to go back into this piece. Um, if I can. Do -do 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 -do. I can't actually get myself into the right place here, but if I do this, hey, there we go. Um, then we go back to this color, and I somewhat do this piece. Uh, I just want to go ahead and paint it in, so let's do that like this. Here we go, and paint it going backwards. It's not going to be amazing, of course, but hopefully it's okay. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and do that. Do this, and I would love to make it a lot nicer than this, but... It's not something that I'm really good at doing, and it's not something that I um, can actually spend that much time on. So there we go. That is pretty much everything that I wanted to do there. Let's go ahead and save it. And then from here, what I wanted to do was actually add a big old red bit. Okay? I wanted a huge red bit on the front. So if we scale it down a little bit. There we go. Um, I might be able to get away with this. Saturation really high. I just want it to be fully red. Okay. Really, really high. There we go red front end of the engines. Good. We can then actually paint the rest of it back to the normal colors, and I think that'll be fine. Maybe. 
So let's go ahead and do this. Yep, here we go. Go ahead and paint this piece. I can't actually seem to do it. Why can't I paint this bit? Oh, because the scale's zero. There we go. Paint this bit like so. Steady hand, almost. There we go. And then the bottom side obviously needs doing as well. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Uh, and then we could go from there. So just do this. Okay, and then go to the other side and do this. Obviously, it's not quite the same blue as everything else is used, but that's okay. There we go. As long as it doesn't look too bad, I am okay with it. Nice. Okay. I mean, I don't know what, how I feel about those, um, but it doesn't look terrible, so we're going to go ahead and keep it like that. I might also try to paint this little bit right here. There we go. And then paint that little bit right there. And then honestly... That little bit right here as well. If I can get that tiny bit on the sides, that would be fantastic. Um, but I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do it or not. Here we go. Yep. There we go. Nice. Okay, excellent. We're leaving it like this. Um, it's a little bit better than it was, so I think I'm happy with it. Okay, so what else did we actually want to do? Well, um, honestly, I want to go to the inside of this. I don't know how this is going to work, actually, and I don't know whether this will allow me to do this. Uh, but essentially, I want to go to this guy, and I want to make it 0.01. Okay? Yeah, I thought it would do this. That's not really what we want. Go back to 1. There we go. So, we're going to have to add a bit into the inside of there in order for this to work. Um, so, let's try and figure that out together. We need a uh, fuselage piece. Here we go, one of these. Uh, we only need one, and we need it to go in the center. So, let's do this real quick. We're going to make this uh, on one side, 0. And on the other side, it's just going to be one or whatever. There we go. Okay, that is actually fine. If we can spin this all the way around, that would be perfect. But we can't. It's not letting me spin it all the way around. That's annoying. Okay, hang on. Um, do, 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 do. One, one. Okay. Good. How do I get rid of this? I don't know how to turn that off my screen. Um, one and one. Okay, right. And then go to the other side and go to zero and zero. There we go. Oh, it has actually managed to spin itself around a bit. What is happening? This isn't right. Okay, I've managed to spin it all the way around. That is pretty good. Now, all we have to do is try and fit it into the right area. So, let's push it backwards to about there. Go ahead and bring it sideways to the inside of this, which is around here. And then, we need it to fit, which it just doesn't fit, does it? Doesn't quite fit. So, we're going to have to make it a little bit smaller, which is fine. We can totally do that. 0.95. There we go. And then the same right here. 0.95. There we go. So now we won't be able to see the landing gear um, when it's on the inside of there. At least I don't think we will anyway. So that's pretty good. Nice. Okay, well, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and take off and fly again and see what it flies like. All right, here we go. Here we go again. Yes. So we are trundling down the runway. This is pretty awesome. We have the red around the uh, the engines there, which is pretty sick. Uh, we have the blue, which isn't painted very nicely, to be totally honest with you guys. But at the same time, that doesn't overly matter. Anyway, we're going to go vertical here. You know, space shuttle status, why not? There we go. Uh, we are going to the moon. Alright, not quite. Anyway, uh, it does fly, it works, it looks actually really, really cool. Um, I like it. I think we've done a good job here. And here we go. Okay, so we are actually flying through the sky really nicely. This thing flies actually very, very well. Uh, and we are actually at quite high altitude now, and it doesn't look out of place, which is actually really cool. Uh, I do think that I've maybe added the uh, the underside color uh, too high, and I think it's also a little bit too bright. Uh, but honestly, that's okay. Is it camouflaged against the, su the sky? I guess it would be if you're quite far away. Um, so there you go. That is pretty cool. I also haven't actually camouflaged this bit, but maybe I should have. Maybe I shouldn't. Who knows? Anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this thing. It is actually extremely agile for what it is. Um, I wouldn't mind actually turning this thing into a bomber. Is that something we can actually do in this game? I haven't actually looked yet. Uh, but that might be really like a really fun thing to do. I'm not sure, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see. Uh, and I'll go ahead and maybe attempt to do it. But for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.